I've always felt like in order to open doors in life, you have to force your way through it. Never being patient enough to let other people open them for me. And this probably partially stems from the fact that when I was a child, I was told that I had a disorder in my hip that would immobilize me, and the only solution was to wait and replace the femur later. But my mother wasn't taking that for an answer. She forced her way through the system and found a specialist who would give her better answers and interventions with no regard for whether they were in our network. I owe a lot of my physical mobility to her. But the battle didn't stop there. Being small, sensitive, and unable to participate in physical activities like sports put a target on my back in the jungle that is junior high school. Man, bullying has a hell of an impact on the way you view yourself well into adulthood. And that sense of never belonging or never feeling loved or accepted by your peers can make you grow lonely. Eventually, I think I probably believed I didn't deserve to be loved. But that fighting spirit that my mother instilled in me at a young age kept me going. I'd go on to refine myself into a relatively well-liked person. Learning to ride bike jumps like the other guys my age, despite the disability in my hip, I'd push myself to hit the biggest jumps that they built so that my former bullies would see that I'm not to be messed with. And I'm grateful for that skill to this day. Riding mountain bikes now as an adult is incredibly gratifying from the skill I developed as an adolescent. But that desire to prove myself, it still hits hard today. I've never really felt like enough. I'm never doing enough. I'm never accomplishing enough. My cup is never quite full. And these are generally the words you will hear at your local AA meeting. Don't believe me? Go sit in on one. You see, alcoholics and adrenaline junkies like me, we have a lot in common. We're both always searching for that next hit, and it always stems from a lack of believing we are enough. But for me, that's where Jesus Christ comes in. We aren't enough, but we're loved by someone who will advocate for us. The original term Christian meant little Christ. What would the world look like if we were actually following that? I believe that it's our job to take the downtrodden, the weak, the broken, and lift them up. Anything that Christianity has become outside of that is not what we're called for. And that's why I've chosen Luke 6.31 to be the mission statement for my company and for my life. And I know I'm going to screw this up and be a hypocrite at times, but I just wanted to leave you with this verse. Do unto others as you would have done unto you.